No sin to our people. We thank you, Lord. Lord, you rose up for us. You rose from the dead for us, Lord. Let the church now arise for you. In this time, in this hour, let us arise in your power, in your grace, in your anointing. Let us arise for you and Holy Father and go and do what you have called, gifted, and anointed us to do, what you've ordained the body of Christ to do, and that is to reap souls, to win souls. He who wins souls is wise. Today is the day of salvation, says the Lord. Don't put it off. It's a trick of the enemy. Thinking that people aren't ready to hear it is a trick of the enemy. The Lord says today is the day of salvation. No one has any promise of tomorrow. It is very expedient, urgently, even emergency importance that we do what the Lord has commanded us to do in this time. Personal testimonies. Get your personal testimonies done. Short three minutes or under videos and post them everywhere. Everywhere and often. Send them to your family members, your friends. Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Everywhere, everywhere, Twitter, everywhere. Do what you can do, for God is at work. If you don't know how to do that, find someone who does and ask them to teach you. Get it done. Just get it done. Just get it done. You can do it. You can do it. You can do all things through Christ who strengthens you. shall they call on him in whom they have not believed? And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? It is written, how beautiful are the feet of those who preach the gospel of peace, who bring glad tidings of good things. That's the good news. What did Jesus do for you? How did he bring you out of the darkness into his marvelous light? This is the good news, share. And Isaiah says, but they have not all obeyed the gospel. For Isaiah says, Lord, who has believed our report? So then faith comes by hearing and hearing by the word of God. But I say, have they not heard? Yes, indeed. Their sound has gone out to all the earth and their words to the end of the world. But I say, did Israel not know? First Moses says, I will provoke you to jealousy by those who are not a nation. I will anger you by a foolish nation. But Isaiah is very bold and says, I was found by those who did not seek me. He's saying that the Lord says this. This is a prophecy. Isaiah is prophesying, I was found. He's saying, this is the Lord saying. Thus says the Lord, I was found by those who did not seek me. I was made manifest to those who did not ask for me. When we get our personal testimonies out there so thick and so rich and so, uh, you know, going viral all over the earth, all over the world, every soul that has a testimony, putting their testimony on a short video, and posting it everywhere often, not just one time. If you know more than one language, put it in all the languages you know. And post it.
against it and it's going to cover the world. That's you telling your story and giving Jesus his All over the world and people who were not even looking for him, they're going to see these videos. What is all this about, they're going to think. What is this? All these three minute videos, all these short videos of people saying Jesus saved them, or they had an experience with Jesus, or Jesus delivered them from alcohol or drugs or whatever. What is all this about? What is this? I need this Jesus. He said, I was made manifest to those who did not ask for me. There's people that need Jesus that are not asking. They're not going to church. They're not tuning in to church broadcast but they are meant to be heirs of salvation. And some of them are prodigals that have lost their way. And right now their hearts are being softened because this is so unsure. And there's an evil undercurrent flowing that a lot of people can't see, but the prophets know what's going on. The word of God has prophesied what's really going on. You can read about it in the book of Revelation, Isaiah, Psalms, many places, Joel, Daniel. It's the end times. It's the times when the Lord says that antichrist spirits will arise. Perilous times will come. Times of stress. People will be lovers of themselves. unthankful, unholy, blasphemers. They're not going to know what to do with their self. And if you think this is bad, this is just a little bit of what's going to, it's really going to become when the great tribulation comes. This is like a dress rehearsal of, hey, we're awake now. Let's not fall back asleep. Let's not go out and do foolishly again after we just repented for all the, all the stuff that was in our own personal lives or our country. Vanity is being stripped away. The Lord is convicting immoral and immodest behaviors. The vanities are being stripped away. How shall they preach unless they are sent? This message I'm giving you today is from the Holy Spirit. I truly believe it. And He is sending you. You're being sent. This is a commission. This is a, a work for you to do and to help others to get it done. Hallelujah. It's so important. For whoever calls on the name of the Lord shall be saved. How then shall they call? on him in whom they have not believed. And how shall they believe in him of whom they have not heard? And how shall they hear without a preacher? And how shall they preach unless they are sent? You don't have to have went to Bible college to preach the gospel. Just because you are born again and saved, you can go spread that good news. You can herald it. You can speak about it. That's what preaching means. It means to, to boldly speak of it. You can tell people about it. That's the Great Commission. Hallelujah. Let's get it done. Let's get it done in record time. And let's get it done while there is time. Hallelujah. Oh, la ba ba ra 
baba shanda la baba ra baba sanda ra baba kaya la baba baba ki to namaga ra baba ba shanda la baba ra baba ba sanda ra baba kaya thank you jesus thank you jesus One of our foundational scriptures, Psalm 96, Psalm 91, Psalm 103. We, re, we go to these so often, so true. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. You are awesome and holy. We praise you today. We praise you with our hearts. Lord, we praise you this night. We welcome your holy angels. We welcome the fullness of your holy ghost and your holy fire in our midst in every home, every person listening, every family member of them, every person that is in their generation, every person that they love, that they're praying for, every ministry represented, every single child, every single one of the elderly, no matter where they are in these families listening in tonight, we thank you for the Holy Ghost and fire ministering to all of us. We thank you, Lord, for going to our precious children, our grandchildren, anyone who has great grandchildren and their generations, our generations, the Holy Ghost and fire be evident in the name of Jesus. Every holy angel assigned commissioned tonight by the Lord Jesus Christ and our Holy Father that Yeshua wills go as Yeshua wills go go and minister to the heirs of salvation and bring their hearts into a softened condition ready to receive whatever you want us to receive Lord tonight and forevermore hallelujah Psalm 103, bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name and bless the name, hallelujah, forever. Bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all my iniquities, my sins, who heals all my diseases, who redeems our life from destruction, who crowns us with loving kindnesses and tender mercies, who satisfies our mouth with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. Talk to the Lord and ask him what good things he wants you to put in your mouth, eating and drinking, what supplements to take in this time, building up your immunity. The blood of Jesus has prevailed. Yet we also use wisdom in eating right, drinking right, good hygiene, but nothing going into paranoia nor fear in Jesus' name. Building our bodies up, good fresh organic foods that the Lord has created for us, veggies and fruits, organic as much as possible. Hallelujah. The good pure meats, chicken, chicken fat, they call it Jewish penicillin. The skin of the chicken, fried skin or baked skin of the chicken, very nutritious, has lots of minerals that we need. Extra vitamin C, you shouldn't go over a thousand milligrams, it could cause some problems. Unless a doctor has told you that, it's a good Christian doctor course step up the zinc maybe do 50 to 100 milligrams for a few days with some tonic quinine water that zinc will help your cells to receive the other nutrients better good raw honey organic garlic lemon and apple cider vinegar in your water drinks all very nutritious all work as an antibiotic for you and your body 
He feeds our mouths with good things so that our youth is renewed like the eagles. Getting your sunshine daily by a sunny window or walk outside, very important. Sliced up organic raw garlic on some bread and butter, salt, very good, very good for you. Hallelujah. But most of all faith in knowing that your father is good. Oh, your father is good. Your father is good. Oh, yes, Lord. We thank you for the fish you give us to eat. We thank you for the farming, Lord. We thank you for the, the farmers, Lord. We thank you for the good things from the earth. Hallelujah. We thank you, Lord, for harvesting. We thank you, Lord, that you said you'd keep us even in famine, that there would not be a lack for the righteous. You said, I've never seen the righteous forsaken or their seed begging bread. You can open up your pantries and your refrigerators and your freezers and you can speak the word of the Lord inside there. I've done this many a time through the years. And you speak in the name of Jesus. I command you refrigerator and pantry. Freezer, you be full of the finest. You be full of the good and the pure. You be full and not lacking in Jesus' name. For the word of the Lord says, he will withhold no good thing for those who walk uprightly. And when we're in Jesus, he sees Jesus' blood. We are righteous. He sees Jesus as our righteousness. That's part of being born again and saved. He doesn't see you in your sin. He sees Jesus, the perfect one, the sacrifice. Never have I seen the righteous forsaken nor their seed begging bread, says the Lord. Oh, we bless everyone tonight. Father, we thank you. Where, Lord, would you like us to go to just sing our hearts to you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let us pour out our heart to the Lord in praise and thanksgiving and worship. Let us sing in the Holy Spirit and pray in the Holy Spirit. Let us pour out our hearts before the Lord tonight together as family, as one family in his eyes, in peace and in unity under the headship of our Lord Jesus. We love you, Holy Father. We fear you, we adore you, we love you, Jesus. We thank you for rebuking the devourer for our sakes and giving us your abundant life. Hallelujah. We have a window of time We can throw ourselves before the Lord. We can get on the floor and prostrate ourselves before the Lord and we can cry out to him for more time for him to have a heart of mercy and turn his heart that he would not so soon pour out wrath upon the evil that has been going on in the world, but that he would see that we desire more time to bring in the lost, to allow our family members to come to him, to, to reach more people with the gospel, with our own personal testimony, so that they are not left behind when the rapture is taking place. They don't have to go through a horrible tribulation and be faced with the choice that they must make whether to take the mark of the beast or not. 
You know, we're seeing signs, we're hearing words, we're hearing people. Even confess with their own mouth and say things about taking a computerized chip ID, even through a vaccine. They're talking about that. There's videos going around. Not all of them are totally true, but there's some truth in that. I've heard Bill Gates with his own mouth saying in a conference what, he, what his plans are. It's, it's diabolical. Does he know what he's doing? I don't know. Is he a son of the devil? I don't know. Can he be saved? I don't know. But I know I don't trust him. And neither should you. The book of Revelation warns us about false doctrines, and doctrines of demons and devils and false Christs and false prophets and antichrist spirits and one world government, one world order and one world currencies and uh, chips of ID and uh, Mark the Beast. It's the same thing. A mark or taking a, a man's number, a mark in the forehead or the hand. The Bible talks about it. It's all prophesied. It's going to happen. We have to be able to understand these things so that we can warn people, so we can teach our children and their children, so we can educate the people. The Lord says, my people perish for a lack of knowledge. We have to get the knowledge of the truth of the word out there. It's simple terms that they can understand it quick and easy of what to receive and what to discard, what to hate, what to love, what is safe, what is unsafe. There's a real hell. There's a real heaven. There's a real God, Yahweh, creator of all things. My Father God. There's a real Jesus Christ, our Savior, whom through him is the only way to be saved. The only way to the Father is through Jesus Christ, Yeshua, asking him to forgive you of your sins and believing that he is the only Son of God who came, laid down his life, and is offering you and your people salvation, forgiveness, just receiving that calling on his name to save you, forgive you. It's all real. There's a spiritual world and there's a natural world. There's an evil spirit and there's a holy spirit and they're in war and they've been in war for <laughs> thousands and thousands and thousands of years. And they're still in war. But when you're on Jesus' side, you're on the winning side. Hallelujah. and the scoffers and the unbelieving and those who laugh and point fingers and those who try to rebuke their own ministers and not listening to the watchmen on the wall or the prophets, the true prophets. You're in trouble. You need to repent. You need to repent of pride. Unrighteousness has been abounding in not only the United States, but every nation, including Israel. And it's, God hates it. He's tired of it. He's been angry about it. One of the things that angers him the most is, is exploiting of children, abuse of children. And I'm not just talking about abortion talking about a child of any age. So 
horrible. God's not gonna be silent much longer. He's gonna, he is, he is bringing judgment. The age of grace is going to be over with soon. We must tell our story and give Jesus his glory. We must tell the people in a simple, easy to understand way about what the evil Antichrist agenda is, what they're cooking up, what they want to do, mandated vaccines, ID chips, and calling it good or saving the planet or uh, this is the way that we can all have a normal life and income and, and have everything we need and be able to socialize again and send children to school and get back to church. It's all a lie. If you don't believe me, then you go pray. You fast and pray. You ask the Lord to show you and you go do your homework. And you read the book of Revelation and you ask the Lord for understanding of revelation knowledge deep. And you go and you listen to the news reports and you go and listen to what those who think they're so smart are up to really behind the scenes. Go listen to what Bill Gates has planned. Go listen to what Fossey has planned. Go listen. Well, listen, see what's coming out of their mouths. It's not even hearsay. It's not rumors. It's actually coming out of their mouth. The Lord says, beware of that in the end times. He said, watch out. They're going to be there. He also says there's going to be wars and rumors of wars and these false Christs and people thinking that they can save the world. You know, they're not a savior. Jesus is the only Savior. Jesus and Father God, Yahweh, is the only way to make America great again, or any nation. It's through Jesus. Salvation through Jesus and obeying Jesus and the Word of God is the only way. The only way. It's not money. It's not even loving one another. That's part of it. But if you just love one another and you don't obey the truth, it's not even real love. It's going to dwindle away to nothing. You have to have the truth in love. And they both go together. It can't just be nice to people and smile at people and think you're a great person or give things to the poor and think that you're a great person. You're not. Unless you're born again, you will go to hell where the flame never goes out, where the worm dies not, where there is demons and Satan tormenting spirits, separated forever from the Holy Father who created you, who only wants what is good and perfect for you, who created through Jesus Christ a wonderful paradise in eternity and mansions and ability to be close to him, to worship him and be about his business forever. You'll be separated from everything good, everything pleasant. There's a real hell. This is only a dressing room. What we're going through now is just to see what we're made of. What, what are we gonna do? Who are we gonna worship? Which way are we gonna go? How are we gonna treat people? What do we really believe? It's a test. And the only way to pass this test is to accept Jesus and follow Jesus, the real Jesus. There's a lot of people talking about this certain Jesus. One of the most wisest things I've ever heard come out of the mouth of a human being came out of the mouth of a three-year-old child. And he was praying with us and he said, I pray that Jesus be saved from America. There has been false Christs. There has been false doctrine. There has been watered down. There has been religion. There's been lukewarm. There's been apostate. That means 
You say you're a Christian or you think you love God and Jesus, but you deny His power. You don't want anything to do with the Holy Spirit or the Holy Fire or the Holy Gifts of God. You don't think it's real. You're believing a lie. That is a lie from hell that wants to take you to a bad place. What's wrong with believing the whole gospel? What's wrong with it? You have everything to gain and nothing to lose if you believe in the whole gospel. What do you think, somebody's gonna make fun of you if you believe the whole gospel? If you believe there's really healing, signs, wonders, and miracles today? That there's a really an infilling of the Holy Ghost and fire with evidence of speaking in tongues and you can pray in the Holy Spirit straight to your Holy Father and confusing every damn devil and demon on hell? What's wrong with that? We're not fools. We are alive. We're the ones who have the answer. So let's give it. We're not letting this thing turn into some stopping or hindrance of the move of spreading the gospel of Jesus Christ, Yeshua, throughout the world. This is only stirring us up to spread the gospel more. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is the Lord. Jesus is the great physician. It's not Fossey. It's Jesus. Jesus is the great healer. Yahweh is the all-wise God. And you get his wisdom by asking for it. Not by going to Harvard or Yale or whatever. You get wisdom, true wisdom, by reading the word of God and believing it. And obeying the Lord and understanding and knowing his voice and asking him for true wisdom. That's how you become wise and know all things that the Lord would want you to know. He'll give you answers to every question in life that you have. Every single one, deep questions. Sometimes I've asked him things so deep and sometimes he didn't answer me immediately, but very soon. Maybe in just a few days or even a few hours would go by and bam, there it would be. He'd drop it right into my heart, right into my mind, and I would understand that he would speak that still small voice into my heart, my spirit, giving me his wisdom on the matter. He will talk to you. He loves you. I'm speaking to you who are not Christians yet right now. He loves you. I'm speaking to the whole world. He loves you. He's out to get you. But there is a line. He'll only chase you for so long. And that's it. Today's the day of salvation. You may not have tomorrow. And all the Christians may be ripped up out of this earth really soon. And oh, what pandemonium. If you think this has been a pandemic, it's nothing like what's going to be. When the Holy Church and the Holy Spirit is lifted up off the face of this earth, such darkness, such turmoil, such evil as we have never seen before will be taking place. There will be some who were raised and who know Jesus Christ's name, raised in the Bible, raised in church, that turn their backs on him, that will be left behind because they were in a, an apostate condition or a prodigal condition without repentance and come back. Or occult workers or unbelievers or atheists. You talk about trouble. That's gonna be the trouble. But you know how you can avoid all that? By just calling on Jesus. Now, while you can, while there's time today, this night, call upon the Lord's name, Jesus Yeshua. Have mercy on me, a sinner, and forgive me of my sins. And cleanse me from all evil and unrighteousness. And come and live by your spirit in me and give me new life, new thinking, new wisdom, new. Then it's done. And you don't go back out into folly. You don't go back out.
go into the Word. You get into prayer. You get into knowing Him and following Him. And you will be saved. to be so 
on Jesus. Get the crap out of your home. Ask the Lord to show you what is good and what is evil. Trinkets and sculptures and things and magazines, books and movies, clothing, whatever's in your home. Ask him to show you. I guarantee you, most probably there is going to be some things, even if it's one or two few or many, that are actually pagan things, things that God hates that are in your very home. And the Lord asks you, he commands you to find out those things and destroy them, get rid of them. Don't give them away, don't sell them, destroy them. Get your houses clean, get your heart clean, get your mind clean.
seems like the body of Christ is just going back and forth. We want the Lord to come and catch us up out of here. Come, Lord Jesus, says the bride. The spirit and the bride says, come. And then we turn around and say, but wait. We want you to wait. We need more time. We need more time. More time. We need more time. The whole earth is groaning for the sons of God to be manifested. Solo voro bovolo lo coro volo lo. Hallelujah. Kushmaka halata 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 halata.
We thank you, Lord, for fixing the sound, making it right. Oh, my God, I'm a son of a guy. Shun of my guy, I'm a ton of a guy. Tova a key, a kalo kalahona. Tarasha malakalaha hala key. Tora mavarabata bashanda la mama key. Tona mavakaya tatarabava sandana kay. Kola maga shanda la mama key. Tora mava shanda la bata la bata la bata la bata la bata. Kora mava sala shata la tata la tata la tata la tata. Kora mava kaya sasha kala baha tata tata. No karamada vovu sondo lo voloko. Ah. 
Adonai Elohim El Shaddai coming on earth of Yahweh is more now than ever before. Yeah, ever. I'm sure that was a mistake, a misspelling. It's not never, it's ever. Just bless you. Oh, Jesus! He's Lord of the harvest. He's Lord of me. Oh, Lord of the harvest, will you send
by the blood of Jesus from your wrath saving us from our enemies you're pouring out your love and your truth Lord you're pouring out your revival fires you're fanning the flames in the heart Making the hearts of the people soft again. Saving us from your enemies. Oh, save us. Yes, save us. From your enemies, save us.
to the shame at the cross when you were resurrected you put to the shame all those principalities and powers and rulers of the air put to an open shame in front of all and the power Spirit, Shakalamani Kishamana the Kaya the Hoba, it fell on the day of Pentecost, but it became up. Refresh us again anew, Lord. Fill us and baptize us with the fire of your spirit. Grant to us your servants' boldness that in this hour we may go and preach the gospel. The signs and wonders and healings will take place to glorify your name. Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. Glorify your name, Jesus. 
he says, I will glorify it again. He says, I will glorify it again. 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 I will glorify it again in the zip time harvest. In the zip time harvest. Lift up your eyes and see The harvest is ripe Lift up your eyes and see Church, the harvest is ripe King of glory, show your glory, show your glory, send more of your glory, that the peoples will see your glory, they will see your reality, Yahshua and Holy Father Yahweh, all the peoples of every nation, every tribe, tongue and nation, let them see, let them know, let them see, let them know, let them hear, let them hear. Let them see, let them know, let them hear, you are real, you are the Lord, 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 you are the Lord of hosts, Jesus. Upon this rock. Yeshua the rock, I will build my church, says the Lord, and the gates of hell shall not prevail against her. Hallelujah! 
kingdom come, yeah. Let your will be done, yeah. Heal all the earth, yeah. As it is in your heaven. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done. Your kingdom come. Let your will be done here on the earth as it is in your heart. Oh, mighty God. Oh, my. Let your kingdom come. Let your will be done here on the earth as it is in your instead of your wrath. Save us from every enemy scheme and let the church arise and be strong and do mighty exploits in your name for your glory. Take your glory, King of glory. Let us arise in this time full of your power. ready harvest for you. Adonai Elohim El Shaddai.
Matov Aka Atahara Tariq Allah Osham Allah Aka Avod Ata Ara Apa Ava Ata 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 Toda Aba Aba Ara Akai Odor Emishalat Ke Huno Haba Hara Hapa Odor Amara Vasham Tomakaya, Tomakaya Hakalahinu, Shatakaya, Lord, we thank you for your grace. Without you, we're nothing, absolutely nothing. None of us deserves your grace, but you freely gave it, and we receive. Those of us who are wise will receive the grace, the forgiveness, and eternal life that Yahweh is offering through the Lord Jesus, Yeshua, the Christ and Savior. You have everything to gain of goodness and life, eternal life, love, Revelation, knowledge, and wisdom, and so much more. Protection, peace, salvation, freedom. Freedom from hell. If you receive Jesus, will you receive Jesus? I believe I hear Jesus singing this song from heaven to his body, to the earth right now.
children, he did not want sin and evil. The only way out is Jesus! I cannot stop the time from ticking away. Things are set in motion Some things are done, some things in, in the now Are being done Some things are yet to come but I cannot stop the time It's set in motion Every day is so valuable What are you doing? What are you seeing? Prophecy is being fulfilled now. I cannot stop this. It's set in motion. Hear me, children of the Lord. There is little. Today is the day of salvation for you and yours. Today is the day for you to reap more souls in the harvest of the Lord. Today. cannot stop the time it's set in motion my father is eager to command me to catch you away I do not know the day or the hour, yea, I know that it is soon. Sooner than it was before. I cannot stop the time. Things are set in motion. Things are set in motion. Prophecy being fulfilled every day you see, you hear, you know this. Yeah, you There is a timetable, a timetable, a timetable of Yah, of God, Yahweh, our Father, my Father. A timetable that must be fulfilled. Things are set in motion. Does he find you in faith? Does he see you in obedience? You yourselves know the whole earth is groaning for the manifestation of the sons of God. Rise, sons of the living God. 
Do you know Jesus as your best friend? Have you really made him your Lord so that you obey what he says? Is he really your king? Do you really obey? For in Matthew chapter 7 verse 21, the Lord Jesus Christ speaks and says in red, not everyone who says to me, Lord, Lord, shall enter the kingdom of heaven, but he who does the will of my Father in heaven. Many will say to me in that day, Lord, Lord, have we not prophesied in your name, cast out demons in your name, and done many wonders in your name? And Jesus replies and he says, and then I will declare to them, I never knew you. Depart from me, you who practice lawlessness. Lawlessness. You who practice lawlessness. So they think they're Christians. They think that they're able to go to heaven. They think that they're entering into the kingdom of heaven. They think they've done great things in the name of Jesus. They think they know Jesus and Jesus knows them. But they were deceived. They prophesied in his name. They cast out demons in his name. They done many wonders in his name. But the Lord never knew them. And he tells them to depart because they practice lawlessness well what is this law that they did not keep we have the ten commandments and then we have the two new covenant commandments love the Lord your God Yahweh with all of your heart mind soul and strength 
neighbor or others as yourself. Love. And you know, when you love God with all of your heart, mind, soul, and strength, you'll do no ill to your neighbor, your family, your people. You won't. You won't be greedy and mean and grouchy and hoarding and unforgiving and slanderous and accusing and ungrateful and ungraceful and un unmerciful. You won't be proud and religious and accusing and suspicious and trying to find fault and point fingers and think you're better than other people. He tells us to humble ourselves like a little child. And come to him. Receive the gospel like a little child. To be humble. To be obedient. To be submissive. To be trusting, to love, to adore, to be affectionate to, to respect and honor, to revere and fear, and listen closely for all instruction because we're so hungry and thirsty for the word of the Lord to be spoken or to read it ourselves and to act on it like a good, obedient little child, trusting in the promises of the Lord. He's waiting. The whole earth is groaning. Wednesday we had a meeting and that's the song that, that the Lord brought out. The whole earth is moaning and groaning for the sons of God to make themselves to be manifest. Lawlessness is disobedience. It's saying one thing and doing another. It's hypocrisy. It's competition in the body of Christ and looking down your nose at other ministers. And when God sends you a prophet or a prophetess to give you and your congregation a message and you just tell them you don't need them and you just brush them away, that's sin. God uses even the foolish things of this world to confound the wise. If you think you're so smart and so wise that you can't listen to a child, the voice of the Lord through a child, then you've just become too hard-hearted and proud to know the real Jesus. I am concerned. I have great concern for the readiness of the true bride of Christ. It's not time to shrink back. It's time to go. It has been time to go since we've known Christ, but how much more is it now, even more so than before? We need to gather ourselves together even more as we see the day approaching. In person and on broadcasts and any other way the Lord opens up. Gather. Share with one another. 
what you have. Keep the gospel being published. Keep the ministers going. Don't hold back your tithe and offering at this time because you think you might need that money to buy you some food or something with. If you hold back the money that the Lord wants given to the ministers and to spread the gospel, then you're robbing God. And he can't bless that. Jesus said to the disciples when they said, has he eaten? Has anyone given him meat to eat? He said, my meat is to do the will of him who sent me and to finish his work. There's more important things than food in life. Our bodies are not accustomed to that. But it's true. It's time to press in to true prayer, fasting if he's leading you to more than ever before. It's time to press in stronger. It's time to press into the Lord and seek his face and humble yourselves and not just sit on your behind, but get on the floor. Get your face into the floor and humble yourself before him. Get on your knees. And when he wakes you up in the middle of the night, don't just lay there in a comfy bed and go back to sleep. Get up. Get up. Get up. And honor the Father. Honor the King. And serve. He may be calling you to a third watch or a fourth watch. Maybe you've been on a first or second watch, but now maybe he's moving you and rotating you so that the ones who have been on third and fourth watch can get some more rest. He's got prayer warriors all around the clock and time is ticking and he can't stop it. Things are in motion. And you need to serve where you're called to serve. You need to publish your story, your testimony. It is precious. More precious than gold is the word of the Lord. And he will anoint it and send it forth throughout the world. And it goes and does what he sends it to do and will not return to him void, but accomplish the things for which he sent it. Your testimony, your personal experience when Jesus saved you is so extremely valuable on video posted everywhere as much as you can in as many languages as you can and put out there on the social media often now in this time if you don't know how to do it find out how to do it find out someone who knows how to do it who can teach you how to do it and do it and get it done ASAP don't put this off for two weeks or, or months or don't do that. This is a right now commandment. It's a right now word. He gave it to me first. I'm not saying I want the, the, the notoriety for that. That's not what I meant by that. He gave it to me for me to do is what I'm saying. And he's saying, tell my people, this is a plan of action. I will bless this and it will go throughout the world three minutes or under post it everywhere send it to every connection you have whether you think they want to hear it or not that does not matter he does not need your reasoning he needs your obedience he is working on that heart that you may not think is ready He's working on it behind the scenes. Maybe last time they cussed you out or persecuted you, but they're getting seed, they're getting watered, and God will get the increase. 
all who live righteous and godly in this life will be persecuted. So what? It doesn't even matter. What matters is what Jesus wants. And Jesus wants you to be an active, obedient, fruitful labor in his harvest now in this time. We love you. We bless you. Is there anyone who has a prayer request that they want to pull up on the screen for us to pray and come into agreement with right now? Anyone else have a prayer request? I know we had some in the beginning and we prayed and we'll go back and pray. Anybody else right now have a prayer request? My granddaughter, Jazz. Okay, we have one here. Needs healing. Michelle. Michelle Wilcox. Agreement for salvation for Shane and his family. Yes, Lord, we agree. We'll just go. Let's all Jesus. pray. Let's every one of us pray in the Holy Spirit right Thank now. Thank you, Lord. Do be healed, Jazz, in Jesus' name. All infirmities. The Lord rebuke all infirmities out of Jazz's body. Leave her in the name and the blood of Yeshua the King, Lord of hosts, Lord of all. Mala Asta Hienlokove. Thank you, Jesus. Yes, we agree for whatever the Lord wills for salvation for Shane and his family to happen. Whatever needs to happen, Lord, even if you need to dress up angels like people to minister to Shane and his family, that we call them in, we call them in in the name of Jesus into the fold of the family of God. Saved, we call them saved, filled with the Holy Ghost and even your fire, Lord, in the name of Jesus. We lift up Lori and her schoolwork. We plead your blood, Jesus, over her mind, soul, spirit, emotions for her to learn what you would have her to learn and discard what you would have her to discard. Rodney Stack, praying for wholeness in my body by the blood of Jesus. We agree for wholeness to be manifested in Rodney Stack's body in Jesus' name. Someone by the name of Veronica uh, says, Monique's feet. We plead the blood of Jesus over those feet. Hallelujah! Someone's cousin, Stanley's cousin's house. We plead the blood of Jesus over that house for salvation in filling of the Holy Ghost and fire of Yah as Yeshua will. So be it. Hallelujah. Moldova. More of Jesus and less of me, says Donovan Young. Bless them, Lord. Bless them in growth. Bless them in maturity. Bless them in fruitfulness in you, Jesus. To be more like you, Jesus. To recognize the sin and flesh and, and do away with it, Lord. To take up their cross and follow you, Lord. To whatever you will, the gifting, calling, and anointing on that precious life, Lord. Let it be fulfilled. Now in this time, Lord, and forevermore, in your almighty name and blood, Yeshua the King. Amen, Jesus. Someone has an allergic, has been fighting an allergic reaction over time. You speak, you speak in your heart. Agree with us. The Lord rebuke that allergic reaction in the tongue and the mouth. The Lord rebuke it. 
The Lord rebuke you, enemy. The Lord rebuke the attacks. The Lord rebuke you from that saint in Jesus' name. We thank you, Lord, for free. Freedom, freedom for them to praise and pray and serve you in this season and forevermore. Freedom, pain-free mobility. Hallelujah. In the name and the blood of Yeshua, the King, the Lord of hosts. Hallelujah. Someone wants us to stand with them in rebuking the spirit of homosexuality. The Lord, Yeshua, rebukes you, you lying, demonic, evil, twisted, demonic spirit of sexual perversities of homosexuality. That is a lie. It is a lie. Lord, let them come out of darkness oh, into your marvelous Adiyah, light and not be tempted with Masaya that nor desire Kohova, that Shamana. sin anymore. In the name of Jesus, the Shamana Lord rebuke that evil Kohova. spirit, Badeya, that Siaka. lying demonic spirit. The Lord rebuke it. Hallelujah in Jesus' name. Hand for music ministry. We bless the hands of the worshipers. Father, we ask for more anointing in the heart, mind, soul, spirit, emotion, body, hands, the hands and the feet of the ministers and the the uh, worship leaders, Lord God, the singers, the dancers. The musicians, Lord, to receive more anointing, the yoke-destroying anointing that breaks the anointing off of this generation. Let it be, Lord, manifested to whomever you will, for you are the giver of the gifts, Lord. And to whomever you will to give it, Lord, let it be given even this night. Hallelujah. In the name and the blood of Yeshua, Jesus the Lord. Shaliko. Shaliko hula manesa. Yadave, 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 yadave. Iri sari yada hula vasataraman. Tonight was a lot of teaching and a lot of preaching and a lot of insight in what's going on in the Lord's heart. In a prophetic way. In a prophetic song. Hallelujah. Sometimes we worship more than other times. Sometimes we preach and teach more than we worship. And sing. So whatever the Holy Spirit leads, we just try to be obedient to the leading of the Holy Spirit. Tune back in with us. I believe we'll be having a meeting, good Lord willing, this Wednesday or Tuesday. Somewhere around there. Somewhere around there. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Yes, if there's any other prayer requests, you can go to our site at jesusgeneration.tv and you can just hit the contact form there, the contact, contact prayer request, prayer yeah. request, and they will come right to us. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. And we Someone was praying for open doors for Darnell Cannon. We thank you, Lord, for every door that you open doors, no man can shut, shut doors, no man can we thank you for the open doors that you will. To happen for Darnell now in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. And that they stay open as you will, Jesus. Hallelujah. Agreement for a greater love for the lost and for the Father's heart and his kingdom. Yes, Lord, we do all cry out for more compassion for the ignorant and the unbelieving. For the lost, for the prodigal, for the unbelievers, for the heirs of salvation that have not even heard yet. Lord, that you would give us the greater love, the perfect love, even the perfect love, Lord. Your perfect love, Father God, that they would be one into your kingdom, not only on our knees and in prayer, not only, Lord, in our mind or in our heart, but in our works, in our revival fiery, laboring in the harvest now in this time Thank you, Father. 
Lord, we thank you for the victory tonight, Lord. We thank you, Father. We thank you, Father, for the victory. Share this message. In the name Share of this Jesus, message with everyone, you. everyone that you know about getting on their phone, making their personal testimony video, three minutes or under, posting it everywhere, doing it in several languages. If you know more than one language, showing people how it's done. If you don't know how it's done, find somebody. Yes, I know I've repeated this over and over through the night, but that's how urgent this is and that's how important that it is. God, drop this into my heart and spirit today and I would be disobedient to keep holding it back and not giving you the full fire of it, of how urgent this is. God is blessing this. He, this is going to go all over the world. I'm telling you, people who will not stop and listen to a whole broadcast of church service that are out there on the broadcast freely right now. They will stop for three minutes or less and they will listen to your testimony. They'll see your smiling face. They're going to see these all over the place and they're going to start listening to them. The lost, those who are not even looking for the Lord, those who are not even asking for him. It's written, I read it tonight from the word. They're looking and they're watching and they're hungry and they're thirsty. They don't know what they're hungry and thirsty for. But they are hungry and thirsty for the Jesus that saved you and that can save them if you will go. Amen. And you will go. Thank you, Lord. Because Jesus loves you and has equipped you and you love him enough to go. So just go. You can do this. It's going to be awesome. Amen. 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 So, so remember, uh, faithlifefriends.com. Faithlifefriends.com. Social network for Christians. Uh, we're working on it right now, and the apps will be out available soon again. So amen. Glory to God. So Lord, we just thank you. We, we also invite you, uh, if you would like to co-labor in a harvest with us and become a partner with this ministry, we certainly do welcome it and bless you in the name of Jesus for your cheerful giving. And you can do that at JesusGeneration.tv. And I know the Lord will bless you for doing it. We love you so much. Sign up for our newsletter there uh, at JesusGeneration.tv. It's on the homepage. Scroll down, you'll find it. And uh, we you'll see know that when we're going to request, broadcast Kyle again. McCraney, our query. We see your request, Kyle. We are praying for you. Bless you. The Lord rebuke you, you Tanisha. spirit of addiction. Yes, in Jesus' name. Go away now. The Lord in Jesus rebuke name. you. Nande. Stagnance. Nande. Nande. Stagnancy of relationship with Jesus. The Lord him. himself, right now, Lord. Yeshua, rebuke you from of your Kyle. Heaven, the fire of your spirit. Yes, upon the him fire right now. of the Holy Ghost in overtake Jesus you name. and burn you. As you sure will. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. Go forth, Kyle, and do the mighty exploits of the Lord. You are the bold mouthpiece of the Lord. Go. Amen. Tell your story and give Amen. Jesus his glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. All right. We love you all so much. Um, I believe we're going to call it the night. And... Take our rest in the Lord after this, too. Amen. Amen. She's looking at me funny. I've been up early, <laughs> so I mean rest. He got, he got up really I early. I got up really early today, so. And stayed up, but, yeah. I got to sleep at 4 in the morning and then and got a little sleep. Hallelujah. But the All point right. is, we we are in someone else's room right now. And we are believing God, trusting the Father. He is providing a place of worship for him, for us to be able to use freely and openly and to Amen. steward we receive it. with whatever days and times that he wants us. And I believe that's often. And so continue believing with us and uh, giving in that area if he has you to give. And don't hold back, please. Again, do not hold back in this time. Remember when the widow only had the meal and the water, and the prophet said, make me a cake first, and then make yourself and your son a cake. 
and see what God does for you is pretty much what he was saying. God will do awesome things for you. Amen. And I'm not trying to preach a prosperity only message and just, I'm just telling you that's God's heart. When you give to his purposes and you do for his purposes, his house, his prophets, his people, his gospel, he will turn what you have into a miracle. You will get miracle provision and funding and blessings. That's because that's the way God is. So you listen to the Lord, his leading, and if he's telling you to do and give, then you give. Not because of me, not because of Gary or our need, but because of the leading of the Holy Spirit. Just obey him. Hallelujah. Amen. God bless you all. We'll see you soon. Next broadcast. We love you all.